another marketing motion graphics tutorial. My name is Jesse and uh, in this video I'm going to go over how you can modify colors um, to all the video clips using uh, brightness, contrast, um, curves. Now every software will be different. I'm going to go over this in Camtasia, um, iMovie, and uh, After Effects. So the basis of that is relatively the same where you would go to your software, go to video effects or color effects so on and so forth. They're all going to have colorize, adjustment, color adjustments, you know, glow or whatever they have, different things like that. Alright, so in here in Camtasia, um, currently I'm using Camtasia 6, I believe, or 7. Um, uh, 8 just came out, and so you might have some more color options, I'm not too sure. But the easiest one is colorize. You know, choose the the color you know you want so you want a yellow maybe a bit of a green so think of this as the hue and then the saturation now this one might not show up as much because it's kind of a white there's a bit of blue in there um, I made most of the textured backgrounds with some blue or with uh, a type of RGB color um, green maybe so it's easy to adjust them using hue and saturation options I'm going to move that. Now with the light effects, or, you know, the same thing applies. You might get a different effect, but I don't know, actually it looks pretty good. And so you can choose, you know, pink, blue, purple, orange. You can also uh, add a glow to it, maybe. It'll give you a nice, you know, some different effects. It doesn't look too good. Now that might work well with the particles though. If I bring in, here's from the uh, trails, particle trails collection, perfect for lower thirds. Sorry, I just paused that. Say you don't like orange and yellow. Well, we're going to go here. Now you can all, there's color adjustments as well. Now, which is in Camtasia, it's brightness and contrast, which I personally don't really use. You know, if you want, it all depends again on the clip, um, what the background is. See, well, that's turning the whole background into white, and then you have, you know, that's kind of a neat look. I'm just going to remove that. We'll go to colorize. Now, the thing is, you won't get two different colors. Um, you're only going to have, they are slightly different from each other, but. You're pretty much just overlaying the color on top of the actual um, clip information. You know, say you want them all blue. All right? So you'll get the brighter one versus the darker one, or the, you know, the lighter. Now the same with, here's a background. So you can have your content on top. And again, this can loop back to back. So let's see, we'll just see, that looks nice. You know, a fan of pink, you know, you can change it blue, green, white, if you want to make it really bright. And then, so say you just want the emphasis right here, you have a logo or something, and you have this kind of in the background. Really bright. It all depends what you're going for. But that's the easiest way in Camtasia, if not the only way, is you know you go to your effects, and then you add glow, colorize, color adjustments. That's the way to do it in Camtasia. Now we'll switch over to iMovie. You're going to have different options here. If we... Here's another background I just brought in. Now some of you may have your own preference. I guess the easiest way is to go to uh, video adjustments. You know, and you can adjust um, the gains, which will be subtle adjustments. Again, it's also going to depend on the clip you have in the background. If you just want to adjust the hue, I'm just going to revert to original. Hold on, this clip might be a bad example, but... 
click this little icon and make a video. Okay, so one thing you can do is go in here and adjust, you know, manually. And pick colors. There, it kind of goes purple. There's your contrast, your brightness, again, your saturation. So you can get some neat effects. Or, I'm going to revert this, or you can go into your clip settings, and there's preset video effects. I used film, hard light, you know, um, negative and x ray, sci fi. Now, this uh, clip's not a very good example. So I'm going to import um, So I'm going to bring in one of the arrows here from the shapes just to show you a simple uh, colorization of a vector shape animation. Okay, so once I select it, drag it over top, you're going to see options here for picture in picture. Now, if you're if this still doesn't work, you're unfamiliar with this. Um, you can watch the iMovie uh, tutorial, and that shows you how to bring in preheat elements and and use them in iMovie. I'm just gonna kind of touch base here about changing colors. So once we have the arrow, say we'll have it right here. Well, we don't want it to be green. We want it to be um, blue, red. Let's say pink. Everyone wants a pink arrow. So if you hover over it, you don't want to click on it. Well, you can click on it, but the little option doesn't show up. You hover over it, you'll see the uh, settings options here. And we'll go to video adjustments. And the easiest way is to uh, choose your color. Sorry, I guess you're not really choosing the color with this. This is just going to be the white point. So. When you move this around, you'll see you'll see the um, the, the saturation. Like the, the colors will slightly change to where you're pointing it to. But the main thing you want to do to change the colors is adjust the RGB sliders here. So, unless you're familiar with what to move in order to get certain colors, you also you probably won't want this over here. You know, the, the trick is just to play around with them until you're happy, you know, adjust the saturation again. So you still a lot of green, so we're going to pull the green right out because that's the main color in the object. Take the green right out, and then we're left with the, the red and the blue, which will give us our pink that we're looking for. And again, you can adjust this so you have red, or there we got pink. And the same goes for, you know, if you want blue, maybe leave the green in, take the blue out. Well, I guess you really need to take the green out because the arrow is completely green, so. And then you can adjust again with the exposure. Brightness, contrast. And that's one way to edit those. Or you can go in here as well to the, you know, the effects. But the problem is here, some of them will change. You can add the glows on there, the romantic. Um, some of the inverted ones are going to actually adjust the actual area where the um, animation is. I think it's only the sci-fi that does that. But that's one quick way in iMovie. Again, another example here. Oops. It's the dollar bills, or the uh, symbols here. the green out of it and then adjust the white point and you'll get different effects for your clips and the same goes with the backgrounds as well over here in After Effects you're gonna get a lot more options to adjust colors 
and uh, you know hue and saturations and add more effects to your video. It's a more complex program, but those who are familiar with it will be, you know, will have a better understanding. The easiest way is, oops, is to uh, when you're on your clip here, is to just go to color correction and hue and saturation. Again, the easiest way to change these clips because they are fully flattened rendered um, video files. So think of them just as uh, images, <clears throat> whether they have animation or not. Now this is just a JPEG because it's part of the textured backgrounds collection. If we use an animated effect or let's say a light effect here, actually as animation, the same thing applies. It's still just a clip. So all you need to do, and now you can also use blending modes too if you're familiar with blending modes, to overlay them over top of other clips. So that's how you can get really neat effects in After Effects um, or Adobe Premiere, well, I'm sure we'll do some, Final Cut Pro, Sony Vegas, those are the, you know, anything that offers more control over your um, your editing. I'm just going to go ahead and undo that. Again, hue and saturation. And all you're doing is adding the effect to the layer here. So in order to remove it, you simply can turn it off or delete the file. So when I click on each clip, it has different effects controls. So if I'm on the light effects, I want to adjust it. We'll make it blue. And on so if I'm if I'm still clicked on here, this is the light effects, as you can see, sorry, that light effect uh, color correction. If I click on here, this will change. So you want to make sure you're on the right layer. Because if you have your layers down here and you're not looking at them, and you think you're changing this layer, this texture layer here, but yet I'm clicked on another layer and I go up here to edit, nothing's happening because I'm editing this layer because that's what I'm clicked on, even though I'm not directly over it. Just a quick little tip there. So that's basically the uh, the rundown of changing colors. Each software, uh, video editing software of your choice, who you know, is going to be different for adding color effects, saturation, hue, levels, curves, um, or just basic um, effects like Camtasia, where you click on it and you just adjust the color with a single slider. Um, but in the end, that's the easiest way to do it: is you know, just adjusting the colors with the slider. until you get the desired effect you're looking for. All of the clips, all of the animations are fully capable of changing colors as well. So that's going to be the end of this end of it for this video. I want to thank you guys for listening and enjoy the rest of the clips.